So we got a package. It's an educational robot from Dobot, Magician Light. It comes with a few extras, such as a camera, a mat, a few grippers, a soft gripper, a suction cup gripper, and a pen gripper. It's very easy to use. In this video, you will see how easy it's to set it up and how fun it is to learn programming and robotics. You will have to download Dobot Studio. With this software, you will be able to program additional programs and save it in the magic box or uh, use their additional extras such as the drawing software. But if it's your first time and that's too daunting, the magic box comes with pre-configured scripts so you can play the robot and sit working out of the box without doing any programming. If this is your first time programming, maybe use a uh, Dobot Lab or in the Dobot Studio, the Blockly section, which is scratch programming. It's basically Python, but doing like a puzzle. So without further ado, let's start with uh, setting up. So let's start setting up the contents of the box. For starters, we have the magic box, the magician light, the cables, power supply, the USB-C to USB connector, some square box to grip with a suction cup, the soft gripper and the pen gripper, a calibration paper for the camera, and the camera itself, which you can put in the suction cup or the soft gripper. Now, like I said before, there are two softwares that you can use, Dobot Studio and Dobot Lab. So let's start with uh, Dobot Studio. In my opinion, Dobot Studio is more well-rounded. It has more functionalities such as the uh, teaching and playback, the write and draw, which uh, in the other one you won't find. In Dobot Lab, it's basically just a scratch uh, interface and it's more oriented into the block programming. So to connect the robot, we select the magic box and magician light. And let's show a uh, teach and play. So it's basically, uh, you unlock the robot, move it to a point, and the point will be saved automatically. So you can create a fast program without even knowing how to program, basically. Just move the robot to the position that you want to move and Dobot Studio will save that point. Later on, you will only have to click on play. Let me show you. Very simple, right? So this might awake something within you and you might want to learn how to program. But if that didn't do it, then how about drawing? So if we import an image uh, and we convert it into bitmap, then uh, we can draw that image. Sometimes the image, uh, if it's like the one that I just imported, if it's black, it might not do all of the points. So you might be careful with that. 
And as you can see, it depends on the zone, uh, the robot will be able to paint it or not. If it's red, it won't be able to do it. So once uh, you have the image, you just need to like uh, synchronize the Z point and then it will start doing the image at that uh, height. As you can see now it's drawing, but uh, I didn't change the suction cup, so it's not doing anything really. It's just doing the movement. You can follow the movement in real time. As you can see in the software, it's very simple, right? So now that we know how to draw images, although we didn't do much, uh, let's do it by ourselves. Uh, let's program something. So if we're not very familiar with programming, we can go into Blockly and there uh, we can learn how to program by doing block programming. You won't need to write any code, just uh, drag and drop uh, some uh, commands and there you just need to change uh, the properties or the parameters. And uh, little by little, you will be making a puzzle. And when you finish that puzzle, you will realize you know how the logic works and how to program. And if that is your goal and you manage to understand what you're doing, then you can pass to the script section, which I'll show you later after I finish doing this uh, simple program to move the robot. So let me show you uh, these two parameters that I just inputted. Uh, we can see the two points that I just made, very simple. So now we're ready. Uh, let's go to the difficult part or well, not really difficult, just advanced and maybe you're not familiar but you just need to go into the scripts and you have the library on the left. So you just need to copy the commands into the blank notepad. Now, uh, let's check Dobot Lab. In my opinion, Dobot Lab, it's more like uh, the Scratch uh, site in from MIT. And you can use it online or offline. As you can see, I downloaded the program, so I will use it on offline. But I think it's a web app, so it just connects uh, online. And you can program us in Scratch with the sprite, which is the image of that uh, little man. Or you can add a device. It comes with a magician, a magician light. Since I have a magician light, I delete the magician and then just uh, input some commands. Uh, as you can see, we will start uh, homing the robot. So go to the initial position, uh, the zero zeros, and then uh, move the robot a bit. And to start the program with uh, Scratch, uh, you will need to start the event. And to do that, uh, I forgot to add the flag event. So it will not work until I add the flag, uh, the yellow box at the start of the movement commands. As uh, that's one of the main differences between Dobot Studio and Dobot Lab. Here I'm just fixing the parameters. I move the robot uh, by hand. And as you can see, uh, if you try to save it, it will tell you to log in, uh, which is basically because it's online. And now uh, I tried the green flag, it's not working. I forgot, as I said before, uh, to put the event. So here we put the event. Uh, when I click uh, the flag, start moving. And here you can see the very simple two point movement. And that's it for today. I hope you guys like this video. And as always, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you want uh, more information about this robot, please contact us. Uh, we are currently collaborating with Dobot. And we're starting to sell uh, educational robots and collaborative robots. As always, if you have any doubts, questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. And I will see you in the next video.